Welcome to the first edition of Microbiotics Research Feedbacks and Applications, the platform for professionals in biomedical and bioscience fields, who want to provide feedbacks and practical applications about their research works. The title for this research work is, Attempted Detection of West Nile Virus from Wild and Peridomestic Birds within Ibado Metropolis in Nigeria. Let's quickly take a look at the introduction of the research work. Wild and peridomestic birds have been implicated in the transmission of some infectious diseases, acting either as reservoirs or carriers for the causative agents in the transmission of many microbes, from bacteria to fungi to viruses. Wild birds are those birds who live away from human habitations while peridomestic birds are those birds who live in close proximity to human habitations. Birds usually transmit viruses in a cycle involving arthropods and other larger animals. In the case of West Nile virus, the transmission cycle involves mosquitoes and birds. These mosquitoes are usually of the Aedes species. The cycle involves mosquitoes acting as carriers, transmitting to a bird, which act as the amplifying hosts, before another round of transmission by mosquitoes to another bird. Transmission from bird to bird of the same species or even different species is called horizontal transmission. Horizontal transmission could be venereal, from a vertically infected male directly to a female vector, or oral feeding on an infected host or carrier of the virus or virus contaminated foods or drinks. When a mother bird transmits to her offspring, then it is called vertical transmission. Vertical transmission, also termed trisovarial transmission, is usually from an infected parent to offspring, usually through the eggs. In both types of transmissions, the birds can display symptoms or not, Depending on the species of the birds, virulence of the infecting virus, the severity of the disease, and the physical conditions of the birds. While the transmission cycle is continuous, humans and horses usually became an incidental, dead-end hosts when bitten. Dead-end host refers to a host that cannot transmit to another host, probably due to low viral load which the mosquito cannot ingest from the blood. Instead, the dead-end hosts show the pathological effect of the viral infections. In mild and acute infections of West Nile virus, the host shows symptoms such as body ache, fever, headache, rashes and enlarged lymph nodes. However, if the infection proceeds to a severe and chronic one, the associated symptoms include severe sleepiness and fatigue, tremors, disorientation, stiff neck, paralysis and even coma. Many studies have indicated that, apart from mosquito to bird transmission, spread from bird to bird can also occur, as the result of either a halatio of excreted droplet particles, or the ingestion of effective materials such as feces. The discovery that this mode of transmission can occur from bird to bird, and possible birds to humans, necessitated a study to check if the wild and peridomestic birds found in Nigeria also carry this virus. We'll discuss this in the second presentation of this research work. Thanks for watching and listening. Cheers.